Boys and girls, I want to introduce you to some awesome eighth graders who took time out of their busy day and found private rooms in the school so they could take their masks off so you could see their faces so you can recognize them next year. And they are going to all share with you some information about um, middle school student council or student government. Let's start by um, having someone explain to us what is what is a you guys are all representatives. So Daniel, could you explain to the lower school students what that is or what that means? So a student council representative takes the ideas from their grade and basically says it to make suggest like an idea to the general. And if everyone agrees on the idea, then it can be valid. Okay. So your job is to sort of, um, who, uh, Bryce, who do you guys take those ideas that your peers might have, who do you take them to, to try to get them to happen? Well, we take them to other teachers and the teachers in our grade and try to see what we can do for our fellow classmates and see if it's possible. Okay. And um, AJ, what, are there any challenges with this process? Yeah, so sometimes we'll ha get a bunch of different ideas and we can't always accomplish everything. So we need to make compromises that like things that we can actually do and things that our peers want to do. Okay. Um, and Lainey, are there any um, times when you guys might actually have to disappoint somebody? If that question makes sense. Yeah, I think there are definitely times where um, some people suggest ideas that aren't necessarily possible and sometimes are things that we can't control. So um, we can't always get everything done for everybody. I'm guessing like coronavirus has probably presented some challenges to some of the ideas. And I was so excited to get started talking to you all that I didn't give you a chance to introduce yourself. So I'm going to go backwards now, let you all do that. And if you could share with the lower schoolers maybe one reason why you decided to um, run for student government or why you're happy to be a class representative. That would be great. Um, how about, why don't we go, we'll go alphabetical. How about that? I'm gonna challenge you. Lower schoolers have to learn to alphabetize. So I'm gonna see if you guys can alphabetize, introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm AJ. Um, so I ran for student council to have an opportunity to um, step into the leadership role of like leading our grade in the whole middle school and be able to bring like other people's ideas and make them a reality. Hi, my name is Bryce and I ran for a uh, student council because I thought it would be fun to again like just like AJ said to step into this leadership role and make sure I am doing the best for my class. Hi, my name's Daniel, and I ran for student council because I think it would be a great idea to work for your community. And since this year's word of the year is unity, we can bring out our ideas and make it possible. Hi, my name is Lainey, and I ran for student council because mostly the same thing. I thought it was a great leadership opportunity. And in like previous years of being in the middle school, I always looked up to the people in student council. So it was a great opportunity for me to be one of those people. Thank you for sharing that and for introducing yourselves. Um, so before we wrap up, could you all give, maybe each person could share one example of like a project or an idea or an activity that as student council representatives, you guys are helping to organize or run or figure out if it can happen. Maybe everybody can pick, pick one. How about we'll go, we'll go backwards alphabetical this time. So one thing that we're, the big thing that we're working on right now is Hiller Harvest. And we're trying to encourage people to participate in order to help our community the best that we can. Another big event that we are planning out is the Halloween party for this year. Even though it's not gonna be the same as most years, it's still gonna be pretty fun. Uh, one of the things that uh, student council had to organize this year was, uh, again, with the Hiller Harvest, figuring out like the prizes and everything that everyone was going to win um, to make it fun for everyone. 
Um, and so far we haven't done like a lot else, but other years we would do like bake sales and stuff like that. But obviously we can't right now because of COVID, but we're, we've been bringing other ideas from our peers to student council to make changes in the favor of the students. Okay. Is there anything that I didn't ask that you think lower school students should know about sort of their Tower Hill student government and how it works or maybe any advice you might give to lower schoolers who are thinking when they're in middle school, they might wanna run for one of these positions? What would, what would you tell them? Or maybe share with them your learning while, while be, being a student representative. Any thoughts? Um, well, one of the thoughts is when thinking of like doing it, you always wanna make sure that um, you feel like you can best represent your grade and everybody else. So it's a good idea to make sure that you are really talk like you can talk to people and like you seem really outgoing and straightforward. And I like if you're thinking of running, you should definitely go because it's fun. I don't really know what else to say. And it sounds like you're saying, Grace, you have to decide if you can represent everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Just people you're friends with or you're closest to. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anybody else or, or anything you guys feel like you've learned or skills you've developed being on student council so far this year? So kind of like what Bryce said, um, student council gives you a chance to be a leader and also public speaking really helps a lot. Good point. Good point. Thank you for sharing that, Daniel. AJ or Lane, any other thoughts? Um, well, just if you're planning to, planning to run, it's important that like you see yourself as like responsible and like you can stay organized and like make sure you can get to like meetings and put out your ideas. Um, I also think to add on to what Daniel said about public speaking, like it's definitely a really good opportunity to grow on that skill because um, like we've only been in school for a couple months and we've already had um, I'd say like three or four things where we're speaking to the whole middle school or a large group of people. So it's a really good opportunity to grow on that. Got it. Um, thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day and for um, agreeing to share some information and ideas with the lower schoolers. I appreciate it. So we're gonna 